Chris Eichler. That is your top seven. And we're racing again with 63 uh -oh. to go. Well, look out. Somebody is going for a ride. It is the uh, six of well, Brian Eichler. Off. Caution, caution. So now Eichler gets turned. And I'm waiting to see if this was one of those chain reaction kind of deals where somebody checked up. Oh, Reed Sorensen. Yeah, Reed got a lot of, lot of damage that left front. And Reed's Change the right side first. And come over to the left, fix the damage, and put the two left back on. Like Allgaier's got his right rear torn up. Well, there's Allgaier. Yeah, he's got damage. Take a look, see if uh, we can see what happened. You see Allgaier in that inside lane right there. Looks like he got in the back of Wimmer just a little and maybe missed a shift. Yeah, that car just did not go on the bottom of the racetrack. Initially took off, and then maybe when he went from second to third gear, Andy, it just didn't go. Yeah, but watch what happens to Eichler there. So he looks, he pulls out a line and then just, yeah, mm -hmm. like he missed, missed the shift. You see Brad Coleman gets in the back of him, but there's nothing Coleman could do. No, it's just a stack up behind yeah. uh, the 12 car. Boy, and Eichler had his best position of the night. He was up to seventh on the restart, and there he goes. The 12 car's got damage on the right rear. Reed Sorensen. Let's uh, ride on board with Algar. Let's just listen, see if we can hear. reason I put it in the first, but it's really weird. It wouldn't go him out of gear. Like it wouldn't come out of second. All right, work yourself through the gears. What we got here? I got all gears. All right, let's talk about it a little bit. Yeah, I've noticed those shift levers that they use in the Penske car. Just one thing I don't like is a long shift lever because it just uh, there's chances for mistakes like that. He said he felt like he went from second to first instead of second to third, and uh, it's real easy to do. Question now is with 62 laps to go, here are two of the best cars in the field having to come down to have damage control. Is, has it basically taken them out of them? any chance to win? Well, I don't know if it's taken them out, but it's definitely hurt it real bad. I mean, these guys, they, like we talked earlier, they need that good, clean air to run fast. And now they're going to be marred way back in the field. It's going to be a tough call, a yeah. tough job. 24 cars on the lead lap, and uh, they're going to have to line up behind all of them with damage. So it's going to be uh, an uphill battle for sure. And with Kenny Wallace getting the lucky dog, it'll make it 25 cars back on the lead lap. I would tell you, this right rear quarter panel on the 12 cars, Andy Wells knows, is a very, very important corner on these nationwide cars. They need it for the side force to handle good. They need to spend time on this 12 car and get it right. Because if they just patch it together, it's not going to run. Well, the six car has been a very unlucky number this year, no matter who's been behind the wheel. This is the 10th time in 13 starts that the six has been involved in a crash. The damage control continues in pit road. Stay with us. We'll reset it for you. When we come back, we'll try and go green once again. These cats are running out of time. Oh, oh no. no. Eichler. Eichler has now backed it into the wall. Oh, Jack Roush is not going to be happy. This is actually Colin oh, I'm Brown. I'm sorry, Colin Brown. Now that is that, that's that's icon. Yeah, it's yeah, a, a six. We have a wrong uh, wrong font there, guys. There we go. There, there we go. go. Tough, tough break for this team. Let's see what happened. Just up out of the groove. Yeah, he just gets way too high on the track, loses the grip. And, you know, I was about to say, Andy, I haven't seen the top groove come in at all tonight like we see a lot of these racetracks. There's just no grip up there. I'm thinking this new tire that Goodyear brought here is you can see how it's rubbered the bottom groove in pretty well. And uh, I don't, it just hasn't widened the groove out because it's taking rubber so well on the bottom. So there you see the damage on the six as he heads back towards pit road. We have 56 laps to go. It'll be the fifth DNF for the year for the six car entering tonight. Keselowski started 25th, ran all the way up into the top five and came in fourth into a late pit stop. As you see a car get way out of the groove, that's the 18. Yeah, go slow, go slow. I believe it's the left rear. Right front. Marty. Get forward, right front, still inside. 
Yeah, tough Still break from... Two more, drop down, down, drop down, drop down. At this top. No caution, we're gonna stay green. Tough break for Brad Coleman, though. They had a good run going. You could tell there was something wrong with that car from the start. Caution's out right now for debris. Yeah, some parts are flying off that 18 car. Yeah, he was seventh at the time that uh, yeah, the tire yeah, let yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. He has made his way to pit road, so now we'll have our eighth caution. Boy, a lot of, a lot of damage all the way down the right side of the car. Jason Radcliffe. Your right side's on in here and get the repair done, okay? We'll come back and take left next time. Already has figured out his strategy to keep his driver on the lead lap. And again, here we are all of a sudden, bang, 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 three cautions in a quick period of time. Let's yeah, take this another look. Is just, uh, you know, the intensity level picking up. See right here, he's trying to race Brad Keselowski up on the outside. Like a little contact here on the straightaway. But you can already see damage on that right front. I don't know where he must have. He may have gotten that in that stack up that they had earlier. Now see, you see the tire let go. Yeah, you see the big spark as he hits the ground and just cannot keep it off the wall. And what was a very promising night just took a hard right. Yeah, Marty, he, he's had a great run tonight. He's been doing a really good job. He's unfortunately lost a right front tire. Really no problem with himself. I know it makes him sick that that's happened. Probably the Gibbs guys also, but they, they gave this kid a good car, that's for sure. Behind is Scott Wimmer. Brendan Gaughan has moved up to fifth, and you can see What's jamming up behind him? Look at Michael Annette diving down the low side. We got three wide. That's Menard in the middle. Look out. Uh -oh. They're going around. Whoa. Oh, oh man. Michael left Annette. Left. Michael Annette gets swept up. That's got the left rear pretty good. Three really got good cars. <laughs> Guys, cautions breed cautions. And intensity level sky high right now with this weather coming Bring in. Bring it back to you. Hard right side damage. Laps running down. Annette was 11th at the time of this mess. Paul Menard had a great night going as well. And the 38 was involved earlier oh, with his I'm teammate. Sure. If you remember I then, mean, he said, I'm not going to give here. in. And if he wasn't going to give in early, he sure as heck didn't give in now. See, this is a 15 car of Annette's is a mess. Tough, tough break for Annette. That team has done a marvelous job. Let's take another look. Yeah, it looked like Jason Leffler kind of cut across the nose of Paul Menard, and that just triggers the whole thing. Everybody else manages to stay low. Here's another look view. Uh, it's like the 98 just actually got loose. You see that? Yeah, it could have been a little bit of that, too. At the first look, it looked like maybe Leffler turned down, but uh, looking at that angle, it's like Paul may have uh, had to make a correction and got up in the left rear. Man, hard lick for left. Well, entering today, Leffler had four DNFs. It looks like this one might be number five because that thing is hurt. He's climbing out. I'd say Braun Racing's really had a tough night with a lot of their cars getting in wrecks. And I'll tell you what, I know how that feels. That feels horrible. I've had my cars wiped out, every one of my own, and that's a sick feeling as an owner. And Todd Braun's probably thinking the same thing right now. Well, how about Michael Annette? He had top 15 finishes in his last four races. That's the best streak he had going in his career. And uh, that's going to come yeah, down. Yeah, we tonight. definitely need to give him a shout right. out. Michael Bring Annette is. Drive, Michael Annette uh, drove a great race tonight, and he's been doing that week after week in Jermaine's car. Good, solid car. We heard somebody say, take it to the garage. And I'm wondering if that is uh, Paul Menard's crew. If uh, we're checking to see whose radio it was. Bernard, of course, third last week. His best finish of 2010, and it looks like now, yes, it was his radio, and they're saying, take it to the garage. And there's Michael Annette already in the garage. A couple of good race cars with some great runs going, but this is how quickly your fate can change in this sport. Rough night at Kentucky.